Now, as winter draws closer, wildlife campaigners in Kent are preparing to rescue rising numbers of dormice, one of our most endangered animals. Experts at the Wildwood Trust near Canterbury say that dormice are actually victims of climate change because more of them are being born later on in the summer, but then struggling to survive when it does get cold. And since the millennium, in fact, their numbers have dropped by a third in England, partly as a result of habitat loss. It's believed there are only 60,000 dormice left in the country. And although the South East is one of their strongholds, they've become extinct in almost 20 northern counties. Our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. Enjoying a puppy milk feed. At just a few weeks old, this orphan dormouse needs 24-hour critical care. He was very emaciated almost. He was uh, calling out for food. He was found in a, a woods um, not too far away, um, doing some nest box monitoring. And uh, he was found with two siblings and a dead sibling. And they were no sign of mum. It looked like they hadn't been fed for at least a couple of days. Sadly, his siblings didn't make it. But Wildwood does have many success stories. Oh, and he's actually gone torpid because it was actually quite cold last night. <gasps> so this is something that dormice do um, in cooler weather. And if they've reached the right weight to hibernate, they're happy to do this. So he's just done that to sort of save energy. Staff need to hold a special license to handle this rare species. And at this time of year, they're kept busy fattening up any they find underweight. It's about 37 on the scale, so it's about 30 grams. So that is a really good weight. So he could hibernate all winter now on that weight. So he's done very, very well. The dormouse is one of the country's most threatened species. Its numbers have declined by 70% in the past 20 years. Climate change and habitat loss is blamed. And it all comes as a new report is released today, highlighting habitat loss as being a cause behind a drastic decline in insect numbers. We know, for example, that moths and butterflies have declined more in the south and east of Britain than elsewhere. And probably just reflecting the fact that it's a, it's a pretty crowded part of the world. Um, there are lots of people and fairly intensive farming and so on, and just less room for nature. The report suggests reducing pesticides and creating more wild areas to help our insects. Dormice and other small mammals would benefit from that too. Meanwhile, Wildwood is breeding dormice to be reintroduced into suitable habitats. So they get released into woodland sites in parts of the country where dormice became extinct in the past and where the woodlands have been restored. So if you have dormice in a habitat, it means that habitat is good and it's suitable for lots of other species as well. So saving this little creature is all part of a much bigger picture. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, near Canterbury.